Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and in today's video we are going to do uh, something that I never did in my channel before and I'm going to try to bring more of this type of video. I think they are fun. And this attack. This was a tag that I saw in uh, another... Well, I saw many people doing this, really. Recently, I re-watched a video of a um, booktuber that I follow and she was doing this tag, the anti-TBR tag and I thought that it was fun. And so, TBR is to be read so the pile of books that you want to read or you have in your nightstand to read and anti-TBR is the, those type of books that you don't want to read so there you go I did some tweaks in the questions well the majority are uh, the questions of the original video I'm going to link the video down below what I think it is the original so you can watch it this is an old I think an old, I can say that it's an old tag I think so I didn't see in which year that girl uploaded the video but I suppose it's not too recent and also I altered the order of the questions so I'm going to have the questions down below in the description so you can go to the question that you want if that's the case and I added I added or I changed a question I don't remember exactly what I did but you know is the concept is the same so be cool with it so the first question is popular author that you don't have interest in reading so for the for this question I'm going to answer Sarah J Metz she's a fantasy writer a young adult fantasy writer I heard so many people talking about her books like the series of a court of thorns and roses known as Akotar, a throne of glass crescent city so these are all series of fantasy young adult fantasy that i don't have interest in reading and this author is focuses on this type of public and this type of uh, genre and for all that I heard about all these series you know it's not my thing I have I read fantasy I think so well I enjoy the genre of fantasy or the fantasy genre but I don't think that I like when it's young adult because well of what i heard about especially akotar these books are all about romance and i love romance don't get me wrong but you know i i think they are too malice for me malice is that a word too too mellow that's my meaning, what I want to say. Um, I suppose that is there that there is a love triangle, and I heard that some subjects are a bit badly developed in this story. The romantic pairs of the protagonist are not so um, advisable. You know that they have behaviors that are a bit bad and oh I, I I'm trying a new lipstick I'm sorry this is a, a parenthesis um, and this is really dark 
and I'm not used to this type of lipstick so I think it bled in some parts it's not perfect so if you notice it please don't judge me okay I'm not used to it and I'm not a makeup artist so I'm sorry okay come back to what I was saying so yeah I I don't for all that I heard about these stories I don't have interest at all in reading them and so Sarah J Maas for me is a type of author that I will never read anything from so yeah don't don't come for me okay I know she is a well popular author and she is well loved by many nothing against but for me, for my personal taste and my preferences in the readings that I do, she's not an author that I have interest in. So, there we go. Okay, classic author that you don't have interest in. So this one was a bit hard because I enjoy classics and I'm open to anything. So I'm, I want to give chances to as many authors as I can. This one was a bit tricky for me. But I my answer is Charles Dickens. So I have read A Christmas Carol and I enjoyed the book. Uh, it was nothing super, but you know, I enjoyed the book. But I don't know, I don't really know why but the other romances uh, or novels, I'm sorry, the other, the other novels by, by Charles Dickens, I have a, I'm a bit lazy to read them, like Oliver Twist and others. Um, one that I'm kind of interested in reading is Great Hopes, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's how you say it. Let me see. No, Great Expectations. So I'm interested in, in reading Great Expectations and also David Copperfield. Um, I heard that David Copperfield is a um, come to age book. So we accompany um, a main character. I think there is a boy from his childhood till he's an adult if I'm not mistaken and people say that the book is really entertaining to read and you want to know everything that's going to happen to the protagonist and you worry about him and I heard that this book is very um, it involves you in the story and Great Expectations um, I think it is a romance right right i think it is and i heard about the book um a few years ago so i don't remember exactly the synopsis but i i think that it is a romance of and involves families and so i enjoy that type of book so i'm also interested in reading it so th the answer to this question is a bit Maybe I could answer Oh, but I also read it, read something from him. Well, I don't know how well I'm going to answer this one because, you know, uh, I'm not... Um, I like classics and I think they are important and important for us to read them. So yeah there you go so author that you have read something from or you have read one or more books and you don't have interest in reading more from them so in this one my answer is Gabriel Garcia Marquez because I read 100 years of solitude and I didn't enjoy so much that book 
I thought it was um, a bit boring for me. I didn't enjoy the plot or the characters, really. I thought the story was boring. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that this is a favorite of um, many, but for me, I, in some part, I have to give it. Uh, I have to admit it, but in some parts uh, I laughed, so you have that, but in general I didn't enjoy the story. Uh, I started this book and it was like half a year that I stopped reading it and then I pick, I pick it up again and in some parts I was like where is this going like oh. and I was eager to finish it finishing it not because I was loving it but because I was sick of it so yeah and I for other reasons that as I don't have many knowledge about I'm not going to extend in here but for other reasons regarding the personal life of, of Gabriel Garcia Marquez and his choices, I have a bit of... Uh, I, I'm a bit bothered to read this author in particular. But you know, I have to read more about the subject and read more about the life of Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And of course, if I'm going to if I'm saying this about him, I have to say this about many other people. And, you know, but as I was saying, um, I don't know much about the subject, so I'm not going to give it here a speech about it. But some choices of him were a bit uh, not so advisable or at least I don't agree with them and I have a bit of... Um, it's more like I don't know if I should read this author, you know? So if you know what I mean, good. If you don't, go read something about it and take your own conclusions. But if, as I was saying, if I am if I am going to do this about him, I have to do this about many others. So that's a problem because I also am of the opinion that sometimes we should separate the author from the work or the artist from the work. So, okay, next. This one is a question that it wasn't in the original uh, list, but I added it. And it is a book that you are afraid of reading. And so for this one, my answer is Ulysses by James Joyce. So I think I have it. Yeah, where is it? Well, I think it is in the other room, so I don't have it with me. I'm going to put a picture. Uh, but you know the book that I'm talking about. So I heard many people talking about this one. I heard that many people stop the reading half through the book. Uh, and everyone that I hear talking about this one says that this is a very difficult book. Uh, and I believe them, right? So, because I trust their opinion and I also trust, well, because I know they are um, good readers, so they are reader, habitual readers, so they, they don't have that, uh, it's not about if they are not used to reading or if they come back to reading um, from years of not reading, so it's not a question of habits, you know, it's really about the book in itself. And I heard that this one is very difficult and very hard to read, so I'm a bit afraid of pick, picking this one up. But what do you think? 
Did you have you read this Ulysses? If yes, please let me know in the comments what you thought and how was your reading experience. I would love to know. And do you have some advice for picking this one up? If you do, please let me know. Okay, uh, I think this is the fifth question. Book that you don't have interest in reading. This one, my answer is Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Uh, I don't, I like classics as I was saying. Um, and I, of course, that I'm going to read Moby Dick, but I'm lazy to reading this one. I think this, this will be so boring and so dragged and so boring. Yeah, I, I have to come up with other adjectives, right? I'm a bit limited in my vocabulary. <laughs> But yeah, I think this book will be a torture to read because I think the story in itself, it doesn't captivate me. It doesn't captivate me. Um, it's a story about the voyage of a man, of a fisherman that is hunting a whale because he wants revenge on, on the whale. And, you know, the... It will be what the, he's navigating on the ocean, and you, you know, like oh, I think I'm not going to like it, and I think that I'm going to take a long time to read it, and yeah, I'm. I don't think that I'm going to pick this one up soon, at all. So it will be a long time till I pick this one up. But they all say that this has many analogies, many metaphors, that is really philosophical. So it is an important read and I understand that. But on the other hand, I'm not eager to do so. So, okay, a genre, another question, a genre that you don't have interest or that you try to like it but it didn't happen so this is again a question that i don't really have an answer for because i like all type of genres and i want to give, i want to try all type of genres but maybe self-help but at the same time for instance, I read Atomic Habits by James Clear and it, it is a type of self-help self book. It, a type? No, it is a self-help. And I enjoyed the reading and I thought it was useful. So, um, yeah, I don't think that I really have an answer to this one. Okay, a book that you bought but you don't intend to read. So for this one, I do have an answer. And it is Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes. Or Miguel de Cervantes. Um, so, the story of this one is I bought it in second hand. Five euros. And this uh, I have this one too. Of course I have. I bought it. I'm saying that I bought it. I didn't bring it with me and it is in my room. My office. Well, I, I'm going to put a picture uh, in here. I'm sorry, I didn't prepare for this video. I, I was thinking that uh, I would put pictures of everything. And I didn't remember that I have answers, that I have the books, so... Oh, but okay. Uh, and so I bought it and I was really excited because everyone was talking about it and how it was brilliant and how it was funny and comic. You know, it was a, um, a laughable book. A laughable in good meaning, okay? Like, in a good way. Um, and I 
was excited and I pick it up and I read like 50 pages and I didn't what 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 was what like it it was a dragged so dragged and I was I was passing through the pages and I was trying to see what everyone sees in this book and it didn't happen at all so I stopped reading it and till this day I think this was a year ago and till this day I didn't have picked it up again and I think it's going to be that way for a long time. So there you go. Okay, another one. A series of books that you don't have interest in reading. So, I know this is also a really popular series and many people like it. So, and I don't have anything against it. Um, everyone likes what I like. So nothing there but I don't have interest in reading the Bridgerton the Bridgerton the Bridgerton Bridgerton by Julia Quinn um, I know that there is a series of books there is a series on on where Netflix I don't know um, there's a TV series but I don't know, I, I'm not really eager to, I don't really have, it didn't sparkle my interest in reading this series. Have you read it? Did you enjoy it? Why did you enjoy it? Enjoy it? No. Why did you enjoy it? <laughs> so a book, re a recent book release or that will be released soon that you don't have re interest in reading. So for this one, I'm going to answer. It starts with us by Colin Hoover. Uh, this is a sequence from It Ends With Us from Colin Hoover. And I saw many people reading this one. Um, I saw many YouTubers, uh, booktubers in this case, um, doing vlogs about this book and from the what they explain about the story I think it's a bit cliche so I don't really have interest in well I'm saying this but I enjoy cliches I'm not saying the contrary um, I read romance books that were cliche of course that I know that that type of reading is pure entertainment and I don't bring anything with me from those type of readings I have to be in the right mood to those type of readings but I also enjoy them uh, I read The Hating Game The... The... The, the what? <laughs> I don't remember, doesn't matter and I enjoy those readings but you know it is what it is and but for some reason i don't see myself reading well i could have answered colin hoover in the question author that you don't have interest in reading because i also don't have interest in reading anything from colin hoover as i'm not going to read the first one i'm definitely not going to read the sequel so there you go then the last question is book popular book that everyone loves but you don't have interest in reading and so for this question my answer is it ends with us by Colin Hoover <laughs> so if you enjoy the author please let me know why you do because I think that although she brings subjects of what I heard like domestic violence and uh, toxic relationships I don't think that it's that profound or that insightful 
I think, as I was saying, it was it, it, they are cliches, and you know, for many of the the answers that I gave here, I don't really have um, how can I explain it a justification for why I don't have interest in reading them. I don't have because I don't really. It's like a gut feeling, you know. That. I'm going to end up the, that reading and not enjoying it. So, but I, as I was saying, I hate, for example, The Hating Game. That is a romance book. And I read those, those type of books as well. So, it's not saying that I don't think that you should read it or I have any, anything against it. That's not my point. But I simply, I'm like, hmm, no. Okay, no, that's it. So, so yeah, I think I'm going to end this video. These were my questions for the anti TBR tag. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please let me know your answers for this tag. I really love to know if you have similar answers to mine or if you have others um, that other books, other authors, other, other answers, you know? So please let me know, answer them in the comment sec section. Answer them in the comments. I would really love to know. And yeah, that's it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget to press the ring bell button to all so you can receive all my notifications. Leave a like, it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!